This year's Magical Kenya Expo ended in style on Friday with the launch of direct flights by Air Asia from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia to Nairobi, Kenya, in collaboration with the Kenya Tourism Board. The move has been well received by stakeholders in the tourism sector, with View Travel CEO Felix Musa expressing, expressing optimism that the number of tourists from Asia and the Gulf region will significantly increase. Kenya Tourism Board CEO June Chepkeme said Kenya aims to attract 5 million tourists by 2027. The Travel Expo attracted over 4,000 tourists and business people this year with Air Asia X announcing its arrival in Nairobi by launching four direct flights weekly between Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and Nairobi, Kenya. That we are thrilled to add Nairobi into our first foray as an African continent. Not just a new route, but a bridge of economic growth, cultural exchange and the flourishing of tourism for both sides. Uh, of the Indian Ocean. It's not just about them landing in Nairobi, but it's about providing affordability to this amazing destination from Asia, from Middle East, and the rest of the globe, where they fly 150 routes. The initiative is expected to boost trade activities between Africa and Asia through Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, JKIA, which is a major hub for business and tourism activities in Africa. Kenya is known for its breathtaking landscapes, unique wildlife, rich culture, and we are confident that these direct flights will attract travelers from across Asia eager to explore all these magnificent countries has to offer. That for us as a marketing agency looking to get visitors come to Kenya is an addition uh, to the value that we are providing to the tourist. Five million next year, we are here to help and uh, we will push, we will push and uh, help the government, help uh, KTB to, you know, to achieve that target. These direct flights will officially commence on November 15th. The introductory airfare is 52,000 Kenya shillings for a round trip. And travel agents have praised the venture, saying it will greatly boost tourism in the country. As we travel, you know, we have packages for Malaysia. We have packages for Asia as well, Singapore, Kuala, I mean Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, uh, Vietnam, Thailand. So while we used to use, you know, connecting flights. Now we're again going to get direct flights. And I think Asia coming is a key, is a key thing and a key win for the market. The Asia market has become a very, very significant uh, uh, source market for our travel uh, here in Kenya. Uh, we are on course uh, to exceed the 2 million uh, mark uh, pass, uh, I mean, travelers uh, that we made in 2023. So 2024 is going definitely to be a great year for the Kenyan tourism industry. The Asia-Pacific region is a key market for Kenya's tourism sector. In 2023 alone, more than 320,000 tourists from India, China, Japan and other Asian countries visited Kenya. We are committed to partnering uh, to market this destination to ensure that those flights that come uh, from their routes are all full and they are not only landing in destination Kenya to explore what it is that we have to offer, but also as a transit uh, hub for the rest of the continent. We are curating different things. We are trying to redefine adventure. We are trying to redefine itineraries. We are trying to work with uh, you know, upcoming and uh, fresh thinkers. Additionally, tourists from Malaysia do not require a visa to enter Kenya, just as Kenyans traveling to Malaysia are exempted from the visa requirements. Steve Shitera, Citizen TV, Nairobi.